showing you some amazing things you can do with the entity data command which came out in Minecraft 1.8 um, I'll show you all the different things you can do not all the different things but a few of the different things you can do with uh, custom NPC mods so let me just turn that tool tip off here okay and we'll get right to it so entity data is the data tags of an entity it could be a custom NPCs uh, guy here or it could be a zombie or a spider or whatever but the way you can see those tags is you can let me just uh, just going to change the size of this guy and it will display all the tags there in your dialog now there's a lot of them here uh, as you can see um, and the way you can get those in a little bit uh, easier to uh, read format is you can go into your log file here your minecraft.logs directory and uh, to access the latest log you have to get, go all the way out of Minecraft okay you have to uh, exit completely out of the program and then that will give you a log file so if you run a command like this and you get them all those things and you want to look at it you can do that um, here is also the last one from before it will like archive it uh, you don't want these client logs here. Those are like startup stuff or something. But you either want this zip file or the l latest log. Um, so once you once you look in one of those, you can copy it basically into a text file. And here it is, the huge text file. Now then, and there's all sorts of stuff like the uh, uh, health of the. NPC, his um, weapons, uh, armor, uh, equipment it's called, um, walking speed, all sorts of things are here. It's just incredible. So, and, and size, as you see, he, I just changed him to be smaller. So, let me just show you what I first started doing here. Um, what I first started doing is this guy shoots he's uh, he's a ranged guy and this guy's aggressive so he immediately attacks him and he's shooting these uh, lightning lightning bolts at him I hope that shows up with the frame rate here uh, so can come over here and let's see I think it's this button here and now you can see he's shooting these orbs at him okay and so I changed his uh, his inventory items he's also holding a, a uh, I believe that's a diamond staff so click on that and lightning spell that's what it is okay and the, he's holding a elemental staff here. Okay. Over here, he's just shooting the standard orb, and he's holding a diamond staff. Correct. Okay. So that uh, basically just changes what you would have in these inventory slots right here and uh, you can also put things in his uh, equipment slots right there uh, with if I take that glass block off of his head I can press this and that would equip him with a glass block you could put obviously something more appropriate on him like a space helmet maybe but what's interesting you can also put this stone block here it doesn't really do anything I was just seeing if it would show up but it doesn't really do anything and you can't really put it back again but you can put it there I'm not sure why you would want to though but I was just trying something 
So, so that's kind of neat. Now then here, we could have some custom NPCs and what this armor this or not armor but weapon display does is it will equip these people actually it'll equip anyone standing here in a radius of one with whatever uh, arm, uh, weapon I choose so there's a stone sword and you can see all this uh, stuff showing up in my dialog. Now I can turn that off right here. I've got uh, that's uh, that's the uh, command block game rule command block output. And if you change that to false, it will stop putting that out, and it kind of looks messy. But uh, just by clicking on these buttons here, I can change their weapons, also like that. So. Now you might have seen this little guy running around here, and he's real small, and he was hard to find. So what I did, actually, I created him with with the with the uh, entity data, but when I had a hard time finding him, I realized I could create this command right here. His name's Armos. Um, he has uh, so I change him to a very large size of 10 and I change his moving state to 0 which is a standing still um, so when I do this he will return to home also because he's, he's default to return to home so there he is and see that's his home home spot right there also so I can also change his weapons He doesn't always look at me here. But with this command, then, these, this command block and this command block, I can change him to size 1 and moving state 1, which is wandering, and walking range 10. So that will make him wander in a range of 10. Uh, this is the same thing, except it, it makes him normal size. If I, Click that, that'll make him small. And he should start wandering here pretty soon. And I can still just change his weapon like that. Now this, this gets kind of I'm tired of hearing that for a while. Um, so that's pretty neat. And one more thing that I've got here, I think I've just got one more thing, is this guy here. Now then, if I press this command block, this will make him go that way, and this command block is now making him go this way. Now what I did is I put a moving path and at first, and then I found the moving path in the uh, data tags. It's it's an array. I'm not sure where it is right now. Um, it's, uh, let, me, let me go back and look and see what it's it's called see here's the two positions if you if you look at that there's two positions there you could have more obviously on a moving path um, the formats really important with these uh, data tags as, as some of if you ever did anything with that it's very important they always have to be uh, enclosed in curly brackets okay so it is called moving path new uh, I could try to find that moving path yeah see right there it is and as you see for this one for this output it was it was listed as nothing it didn't have a moving path so um, and also this orange block is what is the and, and a radius of one is the area it's affecting so when he comes see if I press now it doesn't do anything but I have to wait till he comes there and then he will move his moving path has changed now it's changed that direction and when he comes here I can he will go that way so I was thinking that 
something really neat would be to have him, if you had like someone step on a pressure plate if you in a hallway or something like that, it would uh, it could activate this guy. Um, but it would only activate him if if he was here, unless I was going to make him go the other way. Unless you use this command, let me catch him here. Yeah. So if you use this name command here. Um, so what I did, I put that over here. So, and like I said, the do well, those these command blocks, they don't have to be here. They can be anywhere. You know, they could be. Um, I just have them here because you can easily see him switch position. And so that's why I put this command block over here. Uh, see, I can walk over his pressure plate. And then he's going to change moving path once again. And he goes from that orange block over to the stone block. So he was, he was like notified by name here is what I did. Um, you have to watch out to not have any spaces in your name. I had this uh, space like that, and that's not going to work. I don't think. I think. I don't think there's any way around that. But uh, and I'm not sure it, if there's two entities named the same. It's going to get the closest one, and so that could cause some confusion too. But. Uh, See that little guy? I can't find him, so I can just press that, and there he is. <laughs> He's always hiding somewhere. Uh, there he is. So, those are just a few of the things that you can do with this uh, entity data. And it's too bad it's in 1.8, um, but some someday all the servers and stuff will be updated to that. I'm just looking for, um, you know, there's knockback resistance, there's sounds, uh, kill lines. You could change dynamically with with pressure plates. But uh, I think that the moving path is, is one thing that, that really, really could, uh, could add a lot to the dynamics of moving NPCs around the game. And that's all I've got for now, I guess. Um, this guy can... If you do anything with this, uh, I'd like to see it. You can leave a leave something in the description if you do, do a video on this. Some sort of uh, manipulation of NPCs. That would be pretty cool. So, thanks for watching. Bye.